Hello everybody, thanks for tuning in. Recently, my wife and I were in Italy for a weekend and we managed to squeeze in a visit to the Museo Piaggio, or as it's more commonly known, the Vespa Museum. It's free to tour, but you do have to make a booking, so I'll put a link in the description below to the museum website. Now, Pisa Airport is the nearest main airport, and that's linked to the city by a dedicated rail system, which costs five euros per person per trip and goes directly to the main train station, Stazione Pisa Centrale. Now, the museum itself is located in Pontedera, which is about 20 minutes by train or 30 minutes by car outside of Pisa, which is also, as I said, the nearest airport. And just to give you some context, this train station is at the southern side of the city centre and the Leaning Tower is at the northern side. And it's about a 20 to 25 minute walk from the station to the Cathedral Square. So it's a relatively small, easy city to navigate. <laughs> When the train arrives in Pontedera, the best way of approaching the museum is to exit the rear of the train station, turn left and continue up that street for 350 metres roughly, and the museum itself is set back from the road. Now, as regards the actual layout of the museum, we'll walk up the street and we'll enter the courtyard which is just to the left in the last clip there and what you're looking at then is sort of a train carriage at the very front entrance. When you walk in the entrance you'll have a reception area and that's where you'll sort of be booked in or whatever and behind that is the gift shop there in sort of the darker orange. And then the next area there marked in grey is the archive section and the yellow piece there that we're traveling down is the historical section. Then we move on to the sort of a, another reception area and the auditorium, which when we were there, there was nothing going on. But the main exhibit really of interest to us is this sort of turquoisey green area, which is where all the Vespa scooters are. And it shows the full history of all of them. There is a mezzanine level above, which sort of covers two sides or two and a bit sides of the building. And the next section then is we come back through reception and this long blue section here is where all the apes were and the apes were sort of a three wheel version based on the Vespa engine and frame. Next section then is our three companies that um, the Piaggio group took over which is Aprilia, Motoguzzi and Gilera.
Vespator or Museo de Vespator and um, would recommend heartily. Um, easy to get to, especially from Pisa, 20 minutes by train and um, maybe three or four stops at most. Um, it's free in, but you do have to pre-book it, which is very important. And it definitely does a good hour, if not more, in it just to wander around, see all the exhibits, etc. etc. All in all, a very good morning and I'd recommend strongly. Alright, see you later.